A North Korean defector, Jihan Park, weeps as she recalls the repression her family faced before she escaped. Public hearings were held in four cities on three continents. Many other witnesses asked for their identities to be withheld. There have been many investigations into human rights in North Korea, but never one as comprehensive as this. Getting a clear picture of what goes on in the secretive state, where people cope with extreme deprivation and starvation, is very difficult. The International Commission of Inquiry finds there's massive repression, torture, execution, systematic rape and abduction of foreigners. Many of these count as crimes against humanity, all a part of a planned system of political control. North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un, recently executed his uncle, once the second most powerful man in the country, and a number of other relatives. Kim, aged just 31, took over from his late father just over two years ago. But the chairman of the Commission of Inquiry has written a letter to him. In it, he says his commission will recommend the UN refer the situation in the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, that's the country's official name, to the International Criminal Court to render all those, including possibly yourself, who may be responsible for crimes against humanity. No one will be able to say in the future, if only we'd known about North Korea, as they said after the Second World War, if only we'd known. Well, now everyone will know and it will be available in our report and it is a wake-up signal to the world and hopefully to the leaders in North Korea. The Commission of Inquiry may want to see senior figures in North Korea face international justice, but it does not have the power to make that happen. This hard-hitting report will be presented to the UN Human Rights Council in about a month's time, and they will then pass it to the UN General Assembly. But neither of those bodies has the power to refer things to the International Criminal Court. Only the Security Council can do that, and that's where North Korea's long-term ally, China, has a veto. An international court case seems a distant prospect, but this report, backed with the weight of the UN, perhaps brings it a little closer. James Bayes, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations in Geneva.